Hey, young people. That's pretty interesting. Uh, these cops don't pull their guns and they don't shoot anybody. Uh, obviously, this didn't happen in the USA, but cops handle it, I mean, fairly well. Let's take a look at it. Okay, so he's pepper spraying a driver. Is that bad, good, and different? Eh, if the guy gets away and he's got pepper spray in his eyes, he's more likely to have an accident. Uh, maybe they don't have guns. I think this was the UK. I don't remember where it was at, but it wasn't in the US. But we're only talking about property damage. I mean, uh, cops here would be like, oh, I was in fear of my life, and he had a chihuahua in there, and I thought he was going to bite me, so I just emptied 14 mags into the truck. There he goes. So, who thinks deadly force was authorized? And a cop could justify this by saying this guy's a danger to public. If he's driving like that, he's probably going to hurt somebody. We need to stop him. Do you really need to kill a guy over this? Eh, I don't think so. Again, I don't know why they originally stopped him. Maybe it was to drive like this. Maybe he was drunk. We don't have the totality of all the circumstances, but. Did they have to kill the guy? No. Did they kill him? No. And he got away. Now, if he runs into your family and kills them, you're going to be saying they should have killed him. But, again, uh, I, I think we need to be careful about uh, giving cops too much power to shoot whenever they can say, oh, I was in fear of my life. And they're just abusing it. Like government always does with any power, the more you give them, the more they take, the more they want, and they never give back. So, uh, this, this wasn't a bad little uh, incident by the cops in my book. 